hello and welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this rich and decadent red velvet cake my name is city layo and on this channel i share cake recipes cake tips and hacks cake business conversations and everything in between if you are new here kindly subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to turn on post notification thank you As usual, I'm going to be sharing the recipe with you. This is butter. I'm going to be using butter, sugar, all-purpose flour, buttermilk that has already been prepared, milk and white vinegar. I'm going to be using cocoa powder and also the star of the show, coffee. This coffee is going to activate the cocoa powder that is in the recipe. It gives it a hint of flavor. It just gives it a different flavor entirely. Then I'm going to be using powdered food color, that's red food color. This is super sharp. If you do not have powdered food color, you can use a liquid one, baking powder and two large eggs, very large eggs actually. I still have three more ingredients to go, so please make sure you watch this video till the very end, it's very detailed. Now we're going to mix all of the dry ingredients together. So that's flour, baking powder, cocoa powder, and the food color the powdered food color i would mix everything together and then i would sieve them using the creamy method i'm going to cream the butter and sugar till it's light and fluffy i did this for about five to seven minutes because it's butter and it's already softened Make sure you are scraping your bowls at intervals so that everything can be well incorporated. You don't want a situation where um, there's butter somewhere and there's sugar somewhere and they are not properly mixed. Um, you don't want that. So cream it properly and scrape down your bowls at intervals. Breaking the eggs one at a time. If your eggs are quite small, you should measure it so your egg should be about 125 grams but if they are large eggs two eggs is enough but to be on the safe side you can measure it break the eggs and measure Now I'm going to give this a good mix. Everything is going to be incorporated before I start adding my dry ingredients. Breaking transmission. I know some of you are new here, so please, please subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification. It really means a lot to me. Subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. Next, I'm going to be adding the vanilla flavor. Um, detailed recipe is going to be in the description box so you should check the description box I also have a vanilla cake recipe check the description box for the link next I'm going to be adding the buttermilk so the buttermilk goes in I'll give that a good mix and then I'm going to add the dry ingredients At this point, you do not want to over mix the flour into the butter. You just want to incorporate it and once it's well incorporated, it's over. You can also use your spatula instead of the hand mixer. Anyone works, just make sure it's well incorporated and that's okay.
Now to the star of this recipe. I have hot water and coffee. So I'm going to pour the coffee right into the water and give it a good mix. Now this is the mixture I'm going to pour into the batter and I will mix thoroughly. Just one last step and the batter is ready to go into the oven. At this point, you should be getting your pans ready. Lastly, I measured baking soda and white vinegar. I mixed this together and it's going to give me a bubble. These bubbles, I'm going to pour it straight into the batter. And by now, my pan is ready. The oven is on, set to 150 degrees Celsius. We're going to be baking for 50 minutes. This recipe will give you one 9 inch pan or two 7 inch pans. 50 minutes later, the cake is out of the oven with no brown patches whatsoever. Now, if you've always had issues with red velvet cake, you have brown patches, you have bitter top, colors that you do not like, try out this recipe and give me your feedback. You would never return to your old recipes, I promise you that. I'll see you again in my next video, but before I go, if you are still not subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And please give this video a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye!